everyone, welcome back to Quarantine Corner with Nelly. For those of you who don't know me, obviously my name is Nelly. So let's jump into this video. So you know, a couple of people have been asking me, how's the dating scene been like in Nelly? Today's video, we're going to be discussing how to survive dating a Kenyan man. I've been living in Nairobi for quite some time because of school and over there I picked up on a couple of different character traits and one of them was the common one, the Kenyan man. I talk about how Kenyan men behave and some of their common traits. The first one is to survive dating a Kenyan man. My dear, you better be ready to occupy that liver because alcohol is muhimu. Like wa Kenya wanapenda kukata maji, wanapenda kuvunja lock. This basically means drinking. Kenyan niggas like to drink. They like to party, and if it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, if they had the option to drink all week. My Kenyan guys, am I lying? Number two, you need Panado extra. Why? Kenyan guys will give you a headache. Ata kwambi an eye, mini ko job, kumbere po kwa Stacy. So you need to stack up on them Panado extra because trust me, sis, you gon' need it. The third thing is an M-Pesa number. Let me tell you something. When I was in Kenya, walk around with Safaricom lines. Safaricom is equivalent to Vodacom and TZ. So they walk around Safaricom line because M-Pesa is commonly used in Kenya. So when I was in Kenya, a man who understands himself has an M-Pesa number. So ladies, if you want to benefit from that rent, from that saloon money, from that nail appointment money, like, get yourself an Mpesa number. We don't play with Airtel in Kenya, out of Bali. The fourth thing I kind of noticed about Kenyan guys, okay, Kenyans in general, they're very, um, okay, guys actually. Most Kenyan men are very rich in their culture. They love their culture and they're very proud about, proud about it. Let me use the word pride. They're very prideful. And it's in such you notice even in Kenya there's a lot of tribalism. For example, you have the Wajaluos, you know, the Luos, the Kisis. It's a very tribalistic country. So I also noticed this with the men. Like a lot of guys, our appendage is on the mainly. Like you see the way I'm talking right now, I feel like niggas are gonna beat me left and right. What I get like what you kiss on me, like I talk too much English. So one thing I noticed about Kenyan men is that they like speaking Swahili or commonly used in Kenya is the Sheng language, which is a mixture of Kiswahili and English. It's kind of tricky to understand if you're not accustomed to the Sheng language. I struggled with it a bit in the beginning. I'm not saying I'm an expert now, but I can pick up here and there. So they're very proud of that and they prefer a woman who can speak Swahili. So when they end up in Kenya, when you start talking like this, like, no, 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 sis. Another important thing you're going to need to survive a Kenyan man, drum roll please, a Bible. Trust me, sis, you're going to thank me later. Kenyan men will disturb you. Take your Bible and be like, God, is this really the way for me? Is this really the Adam to my Eve? Bible, trust me, if it doesn't help you with your relationship, at least it's gonna help you spiritually. <laughs> the sixth thing is ego. They got a big ego. Ooh. I'm sure all my sisters are out here agreeing with me. Kenyan men are so egotistical. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but whew, come slow. Come slow. Hey, any. It's very hard for them to like 
belittle themselves for you. When it comes to ego, like never try and put a Kenyan man down. For example, if you're at a club and you're drinking, Kenyan men are so quick to want to start a fight. Like, and I think that's just the ego out of them that kind of stirs that fight nature. There you have it, ladies. Those are the top tips on how to survive dating a Kenyan guy. So comment down below what you think of this video. What are some character traits I may have missed out? And do comment what other type of videos you guys would like for me to keep doing. Thank you so much for tuning in and join me next time on Quarantine Corner with Nelly. Bye everyone!